All right, boys, we finally got a proper artificial life form category. No, I don't count the uh, LR baby or the sub leader for uh, the cell juniors. No, we finally have an actual artificial life form category. It only took a year since it was introduced, a little over a year it was introduced at the LR baby. Finally got one. So, what better way to celebrate this momentous occasion than to go into Super Battle Road and take this on? We are going to be taking uh, with us a full, uh, I guess technically 95% or whatever it is. I know the Oob is not on the Artificial Life Form category, but he is on the other new category, the Majin Power category. Majin no Chikara. Uh, is the brand new category which gets plus four key and 170 across the board to everybody So I'm pretty sure the only one who's not in this category is you. Let me just double check. Yeah, okay So uh, the Janim baby is not in here um, But again, he's on the artificial life form category. So We're gonna be going in here with this particular team. We're going to the transformation boost super battle road stage Because obviously we do not have an artificial life form category stage yet But yeah, let's Let's try this out. This, this should be fun. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so let's see what we can do here against this first rotation. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Um, now, as you guys know, if you haven't seen what this boo can do, basically, uh, they mitigate damage. They have some pretty decent high attack, and then they will exchange into evil boo the following turn. And then from there, they've got like a high chance to dodge. They've got a medium chance to stun, was it? I don't remember exactly now when I was looking at it. So let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what he does. So greatly raises his attack. He seals, he seals on super attack, which is really, really nice. Mitigates damage by 40%, attack 150. Uh, high chance to stun the attacking enemy and medium chance to dodge. That's what it was. So, all right. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and try this out. Now, both the friend and mine have one dupe. If you guys missed my summon video, then I guess spoilers. Uh, but I summoned with Nolar. He he had some crazy luck in our video. Make sure you go check that out. I'll have that up in the top right corner. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and just get this underway. So now I, you always run the risk of having to deal with, you know, potential multiple super attacks and everything. I want to see just how much they mitigate though initially without any items. So we're, we're going in here. There's no support or anything. So they mitigate by about 40. Ooh, yeah. See, now we're, now we're getting super attacks. I had a feeling that was going to happen. That's totally fine, though. This is all for the culture. This is all for the culture. Okay. Um, and again, they're not sharing too many links together. Um, a lot of the boo links, the typical boo links you can see, like, you know, wall standing tall and all that kind of stuff, they're not sharing with LR Oob, obviously, right? LR Oob, the only thing they share really is the revival key warrior. Uh, link. So but he's gonna raise lower that. D oh, he's gonna double lower that attack on the uh, TM. That's definitely really nice right there. 42. Yeah, we are potentially dead here. Um, but uh, he's not doing anything. Oob is rainbow, by the way. Obviously, best in my personal opinion when it comes to the uh, the battlefield LRs. Oh, double attack from the friend. All right. I went all additional attack on my boo myself um, because he gets criti he gets a critical chance up. Oh, okay. So he did okay. We did decently fine. That's, that's, that's you know, kind of expected. Um, so I'm going to heal up with a defense item for this turn. I think that will be perfectly fine. Uh, a lot of that is not like that. So let's go with that. That's share keylings. Oh, it must be shocking speed. Yeah, that's what it is. I really don't trust you to do that. So we're gonna put Boo here. Um, go ahead and lower his attack. I guess that's fine. A lot of them did get their super attacks out, which is really nice. He'll hopefully stun a bunch this turn, and then the Janim baby is kind of just there because he can dodge. So uh, I saw that coming, but again, that's, that's, uh, that's fine with me. You can super attack him all you want. Yeah, it's only 103. It's perfectly fine. All right, 64, you yeah. know, we haven't, we haven't really lowered his attack or anything. And we didn't get that many orbs, so <laughs> 12 from the TN. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, and we lowered his attack, which is nice. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. All right, let's see if we can get some stuns here from the Boo. We know Boo's not going to super attack, uh, or sorry, Piccolo's not going to super attack. 
Got one stun. Got another. Triple stuns! That's what we're talking about. And that's another thing I love is that this new Dokkan Fest boo does not hinder the awesomeness that is this SDR boo. This SDR boo is an amazing card. And hey, in the transformation now into the evil boo. Now, one thing I do want to say when it comes to these new two new units, the Gotenks and the boo, regardless of who you go for, you're basically, you should basically be saying, do I want to summon for the Evil Boo or Super Saiyan Gotenks? Because Super Saiyan 3 and Evil Boo are not going to be seen on any events except for, you know, pretty much the Legendary Goku event. And I guess the te technically the Infinite Dragon Ball History event. But regardless, other than that, you're not going to be seeing anything else. So everyone is stunned this turn, which I absolutely love. So we're just going to go like this. Uh, we're going to have you take him down like that and then we'll lower the attack on it right to there and we basically just gained everything back up so now now you're gonna start seeing the true power of this uh tech boo because again we can run a lot of other boos with him because of his category 2.5 that's a very nice attack with only one dupe that's very very nice right there 150 attack greatly raises the attack on super attack can you get a double no double unfortunately if you gotten a double that would be more attack right there which is awesome so, um, personally for me, I like Boo's kit just a little bit more than the Gotenks. Um, having that artificial life form category is really nice as a leader skill, not to mention just even the Majin Shikata, which is the Majin power category, which I know it's, it's basically a Majin, it's a Majin link or uh, category. That's basically all it is. But you have to remember that all of these guys share so many crazy attack links and they're all getting eight key by being under this new Boo that it works out really well for them. So... Uh, oh, um, <laughs> I was going to give, I wanted to give him as many SCR orbs as I could, but you know, it is what it is. So he does have a uh, medium chance to dodge here, which should be nice. So let's just go ahead and let's go for TN here. And then we'll go ahead and lower the attack on the Krillin. And then perfect. It uh, doesn't matter who you really go for. That's a lot of SCR orbs actually for the Fat Boo, so he should be fine. Should be okay. 25 is not bad. All right. 2.1. Nice. And again, that's with no support or anything, right? That's a, that's just natural 40% mitigation right there, which is perfectly fine. Uh, when he does get up to Super Boo, though, if you do get him up there on those longer events, he does raise his attack and defense for three turns, not to mention that he also will mitigate damage by 50%, which is pretty nice. So um, I don't expect to see Super Boo in this video. However, we could potentially see him, potentially here, we could potentially see him uh, versus the ultimate Gohan at the end of the Super Battle Road stage. So uh, let's just go ahead and get through the rest of this then real quick. Um, those. I am purposely giving all these guys the same colored orbs, by the way, simply because uh, I do prefer to get the Dokkan mode around the second battle usually when it comes to this, uh, this battle here. Because going against ultimate Gohan, the dude just has so much life. I mean, there's so much in his life bar right there, so... Look at this super attack. This is a really good super attack. Boom. Nice. And you know another you know maybe I actually should have brought as well is the physical evil boo. Physical evil boo is a really good card. Seals, lowers the enemy's attack just by being there, dodges. He's he's a pretty good unit. Very, very good unit. Alright, so let's go into the second bout here. Um yeah, we're gonna go with this. Are you guys oh you're losing a little bit of attack. Oh no, you're right, never mind. Okay. Um that's nah, a lot of physicals anyway, so why don't we just go ahead and activate Icarus here? I think Icarus by himself should be just fine. Um, let's see here. You go for 18. Let's have you lower the attack on him. And you can go ahead and lower the attack on the 18 right there. Alright, perfect. And actually, all of those int orbs, I believe, are what get changed for our, uh, the super... Is, is, is SCR Boo around next turn? I think SCR, SCR Boo should be around next turn. That'll be really, really nice. I'll probably actually keep him on rotation because he's going to help out a lot with that physical 17 right there. Oh, we got to level one to get the ghosts. Get the ghosts in there. Boom. boom. <laughs> there we go. Still doing 36 though. Oof. Geeks. Okay. Boo. Or boo. Oob. <laughs> Oob. Boo. Oob. Lower her attack. There we go. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and raise our attack. Just be a little more overcautious than anything with this. But let's go with this right here. Uh, we are going to do that. Uh, it doesn't matter who Boo attacks because, again, he just lowers the attack. Or he try he has a chance to stun on everybody. Um, go ahead and do that. And we'll have Physical Boo actually go for 17. Just kind of 
you know, bring the damage out a little bit more. And plus, we're going to have Boo transform next turn. So I would like, or within the next two turns, we're going to have one of these uh, tech Boos get the Dokkan mode, which is going to be really nice. We'll see what they can do. 1.5, not bad. Ah, no stuns, unfortunately, though. Let's hope for a stun. I love that super attack, though. I'm just going to take my stomach and throw it at you and blast with the Kamehameha. That's another thing to also note. Ooh, double attack. Nice. This Boo is on the Kamehameha category. Now, I know a lot of people don't necessarily run villain cards on their Kamehameha category, but he does fit there. He does give himself a key and everything. So if for some reason you didn't need that, he's there. He's there. Alrighty. 9,000. Not bad. All right. So we're getting the Boo transformation again. The only thing, like, and this, this also goes double for the Go Tanks. This isn't just a boo problem either. Just the final transformation stuff, it's, it is what it is, unfortunately. You can say, like, you know what? Well, you just run it on the longer categories, right? But, um, let's see, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. And that gives you four right there. Perfect. Okay. The Janim Baby has a uh, good chance to dodge. Plus, I gave him a bunch of dodge as well. It's because he's just literally, he, he's just fine on attack, but, you know, it's just whatever. All right, two points. Nice. Dude, I, dude I'm, I'm enjoying this move. I really am. I am enjoying this. Seals him up now. So you can't, you can't, he, he, he gets a dodge. I, I, you don't have to give him dodge, right? Because he has a medium chance to dodge. There's no point. Ooh, double attack. All right. All right. Uh, depending on what kind of orbs I give this guy, maybe we don't get the Doka mode. But I, honestly, I kind of want to because with normal Fat Boo getting the Doka mode, it wouldn't be as powerful. It's only 100% attack compared to 150. So let's go ahead and do this then. Uh, we'll give you that. Yeah, we'll 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 give him the Doka mode. It, it, call, call it overkill. It is what it is. Oh, I'm totally, I'm totally honestly fine with giving this guy the Dokkan mode. Just, again, to see what kind of damage you can do and everything. So, let's see what he does. No support, by the way. Ichi, Mi, San, Shi, Go, Roku. Ah, we missed the Mi and the Roku, but it's fine. All right, come on. Show me some numbers. We're looking at 2.1, 2.2, basically, give or take. But if we get a critical or even additional super, I'm all for it. So, let's see what he's got. Come on. Come on, Evil Boo. Let's go, go, go. And ba-boom. What do we got? 1.5, and we even got that high chance of stun right there, which is really nice. So that's definitely, that hasn't really played much of a, uh, a role here in this particular showcase, but do keep in mind that if you're getting lucky with those stuns every time he attacks, it's working out pretty well. So, all right, so not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's go on to the next one. Now, obviously another thing you can do with this boo on this particular Super Battle Road stage is run him on the transformation boost category. He does fit under cooler. And especially on a stage like this, where you have one opponent and Cooler's boosting transformation category people by 30%, that's a lot of extra attack right there. And a lot of the boos also fit on the transformation category. So do keep that in mind. Obviously, we're going to activate another Icarus because I do not trust the physical go or physical boot at the end there. But I believe he actually does get a little bit more attack. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, actually, this is pretty good. Uh, if those want to come down the way I want them to... Yeah, perfect. All right. We're going to get a lot of attack there with the uh, Buhan, and then we'll give you that. Perfect. All right. And we got a lot of SCR orders for next turn with the... Okay, there we, there we go. There we go. All right. So only with Icarus, but we do have support from the Boo, which is 50%. 36. Nice. I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. All right. Whew. Yeah, it, it was the right call to be going for Boo's better. It was the right call to be going for it. Come on, Boo. All right, now Buhan's gonna. We're, this is gonna take the longest of the battle now, as you guys know, right? This Gohan has so much health. I mean, like like anything, right? Whether it's the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Super Vegito on other Super Battle Road stages, this guy has the has just a ton of health. So maybe, just maybe, we get to see the Super Boo again. Very, very big maybe. <laughs> so. Let's see what we can do here. Um, perfect, that's one. A ton of STR orbs right there. And I'll just give him that. This guy doesn't do much damage, so again, he's simply there to uh, to defend. Last dodge, but yeah. Come on. Ah, come on, Gohan. I wanted, to, I wanted to get the super attack out of the way there. So basically, he's hitting for 1.6, 1.7 though, with no support, which is pretty nice. Again, getting all of those boo links and everything, though, is really, really nice. That's a lot of extra extra additional attack that they get, which is really cool. So, basically a million on him. I was hoping for the stun, though. Oh, 
All right. So now we're getting him to transform. So keep in mind, this is the third. So this is the third turn in the battle, right? So Boo obviously gets his automatic exchange right here. And then in order for him to go into Super Boo, we have to wait an additional four turns technically. So pretty much by our seventh turn is when he will finally transform. So, all right, let's go with that. Um, that's overkill. We'll go with that, I guess. Uh, we're going to keep lowering his attack, obviously. And then Oob is here to lower his attack even more. So I expect this to be just fine. Especially if he dodges. Okay, he's just going to naturally... He's just going to naturally tank that. No problem. All right. <laughs> we've only lowered his attack once, which was from Buhan a couple turns ago. And now we've sealed him up. So now he can't even super attack us. That's fine. <laughs> and we're getting the dodge in there. <laughs> like, come on. Like, I... I, I, and, and, I and some people were pointing this out that I... The reason that I'm not a huge as a Gotenks fan as I am for the Boo... Is because Gotenks has RNG, whereas Boo doesn't. But Boo does have RNG to him, right? It is random. You know, it's a chance, right? It's a chance for him to dodge and a chance for him to stun on the turn. But those are just extra features, essentially, right? The attack and the damage mitigation is there. It's just there all the time. Whereas Gotenks, he just gets 100% attacking defense, which is fine. But all that extra stuff, the extra 50% defense, the extra 50% defense again, attack and attack... And the additional super attack, that's all chance. And I'm I'm just not a fan of that. I personally am not a fan of that. If you like him, though, that's perfectly fine. Uh, no, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll do... Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. We are not having that happen. Especially if we get the, if we get the stun with either one of them, that's totally fine. I think that's enough ores for Boo to survive. It should be. Plus, we've, you know, sealed him. <laughs> that, that's the other thing, so. Alright, 2.7. Nice. That, I tell you, physical, being able to run physical kid boo on this is amazing. And that crit chance coming in. And one thing, again, I also have not, I can't really take advantage of it until he turns super. If I, if I can get super boo in here, uh, he does have the thing where, depending on the amount of rainbow orbs you collect, you can increase your critical chance, actually, so. If you have rainbowed, or at least two dupes, and let's say even if you went full critical, which I don't highly recommend, I went, I'm going all additional uh, with my one dupe, so I would be, what, nine additional, eight critical? Yeah. Even with, all you, even with that, jeez. Double digit damage right there. I mean, again, we're lowering his attack, I know that, but still. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, let's go with that. Now, we probably finish him off here. I am, by the way, doing that on purpose by not giving him... I, I'm, I'm trying to draw it out just a little bit, but at the same time, I'm not trying to draw it out because, again, Gohan just has so much love. He's getting the dodges in there. I love it. 2.2. <laughs> nice. All right. Come on. Oh, we even stunned him. For, we stunned him for the turn. Oh, okay. Can, can Buhan not finish him off? Okay, yeah, no, we're not finishing him off this turn. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, Janim, baby, trying to do something. We're still... <laughs> He still can't get him. Ah! Oh, we still can't. Ah! Uh, we're brought, we're not going to be able to see this guy transform. We're just not going to be able to. It's not happening. We probably finish him off here, especially if we get an additional. Because we're, 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 we're about to seal him up, so Kid Boo is he could get hit decently, but nothing too crazy. This is a critical. Okay, no. Yeah, no, this is this is over. My, my boo can't do... My physical boo here can't do criticals. I didn't give him criticals. But Ooh probably finishes him up right here. 2.3. Yeah, no, this this is over. We still... God, we went so long in this final battle. There's no way this doesn't finish him off. We still haven't been able to transform. <laughs> okay, finally. <laughs> We finally got to see the transformation. Choco, Choco knee. Oh my god. I see transformation requirements. There we go. We finally got Boo. All right. Three million attack. Three. Okay, so it's the same no matter what. All right. Um, now, this is going to be with no rainbow orbs to increase that critical chance. It don't really matter, though. Doesn't matter. All right, he's done for though. So now he mitigates damage by 50%. He increases his attack and defense by 30 for three turns. 2.7. I'm liking it. I like it a lot. I actually like the super attack right here. Just destroys the city. Absolutely love it. So there we go, guys. All right. 
Oh, that took way longer than I wanted to, but hey, regardless, it is what it is, so. Yeah, that was, um, that was fun. That was, I, I, I like the team. I like the team a lot. Everyone talent back here real quick. Uh, I just wanted to give my final little thoughts and opinions on the Boo. Again, both Boo and Gotenks are amazing cards. I've been saying this since I translated them in my live stream and talked about them, discussed them and everything. I just, I personally like Boo better. Um, I think his leader skill is definitely a lot better than what Gotenks was given, the super pose and the, the youth category. The youth category is not, by no means a bad category or anything, just it's kind of a wonky one in my personal opinion. You, you might be someone who prefers it. That's totally fine. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't, I really like that we finally have an artificial life form category. I've always liked the, the villain categories, you know, or the villain cards that can be placed on them. Um, I really want to try this guy on the transformation boost and heck, even the Kamehameha category. I mean, why not? Let's just see if he can work on there, right? You have to build it around a little bit, but you know what? Overall, I'm very impressed with the boo. He's not the best card by any means, but you know what? He's a solid card. He's a very solid card and I like him a lot, so... Anyway, guys, let me hear your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. And again, who did you summon for? Did you skip? All that fun stuff. Let me know all down in the comments. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video, though. Until next time, everyone. Johnny.